little farther, he fell to the ground and prayed that if possible the hour might pass from him. Abba, Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. Every one of us comes to a moment in life that requires a big decision. Not the small things, what am I going to wear to school today, or what am I going to have for breakfast? But we're talking about the big decisions in life. Do I get married? What am I going to do with my kids? Do I leave my job? Do I continue or stop the chemotherapy? That kind of big. And that kind of a big decision is where Jesus is right now. He's at a place where this is the culmination of everything that he's done to get to this moment. The very reason that he left heaven and came to earth. The very reason that he's been with his disciples for the past two plus years is coming to this very moment. And even though it's there right before him, he's afraid. Following the plan of God can be costly. Sometimes it can cost us everything. But even in the midst of his fear, Jesus still decides that he's going to do what it is that the Father has called him to do. Because for all of the pain that he will experience, he knows that there is an incredible joy that will come afterwards. When we're in those moments of life, we need to make sure that our hearts are ready to submit to the will of God, even though it may cost us everything on this side of life because there is something greater that's waiting for us on the other side. Trust God today, no matter what cup he may pass you. Let's pray. Lord, you understand my weakness and my fear. You know the times when I have refused the cup that you have passed to me. Forgive me for that, Lord, I pray. Help me to say yes when you call me to pursue your mission in my life no matter how costly. In your name, Lord. Amen. Amen.